Psalm 116, I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my pleas for mercy. Because he inclined his ear to me. Therefore, I will call on him as long as I live. The snares of death encompass me. The pangs of Shoel lay hold on me. I suffer distress and sorrow. Then I called on the name of the Lord. Lord save me. The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord protects the unwary. When I was brought law, he saved me. This is a very powerful scripture of a man in trouble. And then he called upon the Lord and the Lord saved him. And there's King David. You see, he didn't say, I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He said, I love the Lord. Did you hear that? I love the Lord. That's what a man of God or a woman of God is just so openly saying that. It's a, what do you call it? It's, it's a default value of, of David. It's a man, full emotional expression. Thanking the Lord is given, everyone does. But to say, I love you, Lord. That is what the extent, that's the, that's the, that's what makes the difference between a man of God after God's heart or just a man who is thankful to God. You see that? I love the Lord, hallelujah. I, I, I just pray that we all be like David. When God delivers us, we say, I love you, Lord. There's nothing wrong to say, I love you, Lord, because the Lord has blessed me and delivered me. You know, on this notion that you don't, you don't just love the Lord because the Lord delivered you, you love him for who he is. How do I know who he is until he's delivered me, he's done something in my life, and I'll, he shows me his character, attributes of who he is, and that confirm the scripture. Of course, we get to know who the Lord is from reading the Bible, studying, but the scripture is all sufficient. But scripture is a life. Hallelujah. Scripture is Logos. Logos reveals the very person of Christ. The Word of God. The Word is God. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. And the Word was God. And the, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us and we saw His glory. Who do you think that is? Of course, Jesus Christ. So therefore, when you read the Word, you read Jesus. But you, you can't read the Word without experiencing the Word, because it's a person. You can read the Word of, of God without experiencing the Word of God, truly. You cannot read Jesus without experiencing Jesus. You know, if you read the Word of an idol, of course you don't experience it, but this is Christ who lives forevermore. When you read Him, you must experience Him. Once you experience Him, you love him. Hallelujah. It's relational. It's not just a set of rules and regulations, guys. Love the Lord.